I've lived on the yard for 11 years now, um, six years on, on this boat and five years on one which was down the other end. Um, originally it was going to be a 18 month stopgap while an apartment was being built and 11 years later here I am. What I find fascinating is that in, in my business life the number of people I've met over the years and you say well I live on a boat in the Thames, I say oh you do you live at Chelsea? Say, yeah, yeah. I lived there for a while and it was almost for thousands of people it was a rite of passage that for a few months they lived on the boats and they've got these wonderful tales. And one of the things I find absolutely fascinating, I mean this, this boat certainly was built before 1920 and was probably converted in the 30s. Um, in Holland it was last registered in Nijmegen in the, uh, in the 60s. So you know, I live on a boat which, has got, which is steeped in history. Um, and right where we're sitting here, this is the part of the yard where they used to build, amongst other things, the landing craft for D-Day. And there were quite a number of those. And there were a number left behind at the end of the war, and they became some of the first houseboats. So just being part of that history is, is I find, fascinating. And, of course, one of the things that you do do every now and again is when there's a very low tide, you put your wellies on and you go mudlarking to see what you can dig out of the river because there are some fabulous relics that you can pull out that have been dropped into the river for obviously over hundreds of years.